Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Step channel. And today our topic is environment variables. The environmental variables are predefined in the UI path. So now we'll see how it will works. Let's back to the UI path studio. Now declaring the environmental variable for that I taking the one assign activity, just drag and drop. And for example, right now I want to show see the what is my mission name. So I'm creating one variable with name called mission name. And go to okay. I think already the variable is available. So just I will take that machine name here. So once I declare, just click on this plus icon and go in here. If you want to use an environment variable, so we'll just type environment. So on the up, we need to select this one later dot. So right now I want to get the machine name. So just type this. Now machine name is created. Just we we'll run this program. Okay, I forgot to put one message box. Let me try and run message box. So, updating message box, rerunning the same program. And we can see the my mission name. So, if you want to see whether this machine name is uh, correct or not, go to the CMD. CMD command form. So just open that CMD and we can give their post name. So this is my host name. So where it can be used now, for example, we are running the one bot in multiple missions. So this is helps to track in which mission we are running this so and so bot. So similar way we have some other things. We'll check that. If I go here. For example, I want the username. So I can go the username and we have some device name activities. So based on our requirements, we can add it. Now I want to show you one more thing here. For example, I want to write two, one, two lines. So for writing the lines, what we are doing, just drag and drop here and I'm opening here. This time I'm creating one sample snippet of line. I welcome to take a stack. This is the mine. So if I run this by directly, so I can see the output in one line. So now output so it's creating in one line. But now here my main agenda is I want to see in the two different lines. So for that, what we are doing now. Go back to this message text box here. And I'm using the one more activity which is called environment dot new line. So welcome to should be in the first and text tag. I need to come in second line. So further just take this environment dot new line and concatenating again. If I run this, so it will come hi welcome to in the one line and text tag should be in the second line. Now running this code. We can see this in two different lines. So hi, welcome to up to here. This is a one line and take a stack in the second line. So like that we can use. So these things are where we are using. For example, I want to send one mail between of that. I have one line. I mean certain format. So based on that format, we are using this environment dot new line. I will show you here some other couple of things. So environment, if I want to see the machine name, so this is the environment, my machine name is this one. And similar way, I can't, I want to see the OS version. So this is the my OS version. Similar way, if I want to see how many processes are running in this count, so I can view this environment dot process count. So we can see the how many processes are available. So this is the process, 20 processes are available. 
similar way we can see the domain name environment dot user domain name so we can say this so like this we can use this environmental variables